Hey y'all, welcome to Guide's Choice Outdoors. I'm Captain Vic, I'm at the deer camp. I'm sitting on my Pioneer 500. It's 2015, I just purchased. Um, I'm tweaking it a little bit, putting a few things on it. I bought it stock a couple weeks ago. And um, these bikes are pretty lame. They don't have a whole lot of stuff on them. Uh, I'm not gonna talk about mechanical stuff. Uh, there's other people more qualified to tell you all about the mechanical stuff on these things. Appalachian Mountain Rider, go check him out. He's got a great YouTube channel. I've been watching all his videos. Um, I'm not a mechanic and I'm not a carpenter, but I just added a little back rack. I'm gonna show you all I just built that. Um, I'm gonna show you all all the upgrades. First of all, I wanna tell you all why I chose the P500. Um, I've been using golf carts, deer hunting, and at the deer camps, and even for fun, riding around the house for the last six to ten years. And uh, the golf cart's all fine and dandy if you want to get on it and go. Um, you don't have to crank it, and there's no noise. You... However, when you want to load it down with stuff and use it for work, it's not made for going in the woods. It's a golf cart. It's made for golfing. Even though you jack it up and put tires on it, it ain't made for doing what you need it to do. Work, putting feeders out, putting stands out, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I also ride around the house a lot with my wife. And uh, we have two healers, a blue healer and a red healer in the vehicle. I'll show but, you. But um, anyway, they, they love to go riding. And they jump on that golf cart. And um, I've been stranded a few times. Go out and you get far enough out, you get stranded batteries you got to buy batteries eight nine hundred dollars worth of batteries so I got tired of buying batteries got tired of getting stuck going over logs anyway I decided to get a bike um, I've owned three wheelers Honda big reds I've had a Honda Rancher um, I think I had a Honda Foreman back in the day and uh, all I did was run them they don't break down they just go and this Honda P500 is built like the old four wheelers. It's basically a big four wheeler with a side by side. Um, it's got paddle shifters, so it's a uh, manual transmission. Um, first through five. It's got an electronic shift, so you can just shift on the fly. You don't have to let off the throttle to shift. You just shift up and shift down. Um, word of warning you got to make sure you come to a slower speed before you downshift because it will. Uh, power forward. I guess maybe my clutch needs to be adjusted, but again, I'm not a mechanic. Um, I just so built anyway. a little back box on this thing because it comes with just a four-wheeler rack, and I had a toolbox on it sliding everywhere, so um, I'm going to show y'all, I'm going to get out and show y'all the whole bike, some of the upgrades I've done, and I'm going to do some more, but I'm going to show y'all where we at right now with this bike. Um, I like it so far. Yeah, it don't have power steering. Yeah, it's small, but just the other day, I went to a feeder to put some feed out, and um, I had to go through the woods, and I could go between trees and run over little bushes um, where the bigger bikes, you just can't go in the woods with them like that. You got to stay on the main trails. So um, let me get out this thing, do a little walk around, show you all my bike. Again, there's a lot of YouTube videos out there showing people your bikes and talking about technical stuff and shifting and downshifting. Um, and, and clutch adjustments, but I'm just going to tell you all about this bike, why I got it. All right, let me get out this thing. Again, I bought this thing a couple weeks ago. It's a 2015 Honda Pioneer 500. It's stock. It has no bells and no special stuff on it. I do like these little doors. I didn't think I would like them. Um, but they do fold open and I've actually rode with them open and let my uh, healers hang their head out and uh, But I don't do that often. I, I do like to close them because you just they make you feel secure They lock pretty good um, It's got the stock tires on here Which um, just a few minutes. I'm gonna show you all I'm about to change them out. I got some uh, tires I went to Jackson, Mississippi and picked up some used rims and tires um, I added these little uh, rearview mirrors, and they were kind of they were kind of hard to put on because I had to get these shims in here to get it tight enough to wrap around this bar. But once you get it adjusted, it works pretty good. Hey, how y'all doing? 
Um, I put the mirrors on there and I also got a rear view mirror, which you can see right here. Um, I got a rear view mirror on it because, like I said, we do some riding at the house on the blacktop and I wanted to try to get as legal as I could. Um, I've never had an issue driving my golf cart in all these uh, 20 years I've been living in Ponchatoula. And uh, I guess if I get as legal as I can, maybe I won't get a ticket. Uh, it's got seat belts. I wear my seat belts when I'm wear, uh, riding this thing. Front end stocks. I did, uh, oh, I added this front windshield. Um, we ordered a windshield and it actually came in and it was for a P700. It was too wide. It was about this much wide. So we sent back and got this windshield. It is not a Honda windshield. It's an aftermarket windshield. Goes on there. You just strap these two Velcros and it's pretty good. It's pretty solid. I, do, I did notice some squeaking the other day. Uh, uh, just riding on the blacktop. I may have to tweak that. Uh, got mirrors on both sides. Um, and then I, I had, uh, we had bought a Honda bikini top and um, put it on there. It comes with these little flexible tent rods. I don't know, tent rods and these things. And I put this thing on there and I snugged it down really tight. And I was um, really happy with it after I got it on and got it really tight. But um, I put the bikini top on, stretched it tight on the front, stretched it tight on the back. First time we took it riding, I put it on a trailer, hauled it for about two hours. I look in my rearview mirror, it's flapping. It ain't made to go 70 miles an hour. The back, uh, the back buckle ripped off, and then it really started flapping. I had to take it all off. I was able to fix it and use it. Um, However, I decided I don't want to have to take a top on and off every time a trailer comes to the camp, going four wheel and whatever. So I got a hard top and I picked it up this week. I picked up a Honda hard top at Honda in Brookhaven. So I'm going to put that on in a little while and I'm also going to add these tires in a little while. So next time y'all see this bike, it's going to be tricked out a little more. Um, anyway, uh, let me go around the back of this thing, show you a couple more things I added to it. Okay, here we go. Here's a bed. I just built this bed. I'll probably shoot a second video on what I did to build this bed. Um, basically, I took quarter-inch pressure-treated plywood, cut it to the size of the rack. I got it extended three and a half inches on each side. Uh, I think I'm five inches off the end of the rack here. I added carpet, a couple cedar fence boards, and a couple brackets, L brackets and brackets, and uh, put this thing together. And I mainly put this rack on actually because I didn't want to spend another three hundred dollars on a rack and also you can buy the rack at the Honda rack for three hundred bucks and I know somebody that has one and it's pretty nice but I added the carpet so hunting I could put my stands in here and not ding and make a bunch of noise on a metal rack um, also my hopes are that my two dogs will ride on each side and hang out over the edge and uh, ride in the back of this thing instead of up on our laps inside the cab. Alright, so if we come down here, you can see I added a silent muffler and I also added a, toe, a little toe hitch. And these are minor additions, but I want to be able to pull my boat out the driveway. I added the trail hitch before I added the muffler, so I probably should have bought a different style hitch that comes out and up with an offset so that I can hook my boat on it without dinging that muffler. I'm probably going to either get a friend of mine, Osman, and either get this thing further out and up or I'm going to just buy another trailer hitch. Anyway, that's a silent muffler and this thing's really quiet with that thing. Uh, is it silent? No, but it's a lot quieter than stock. Um, I'll break away and show you all that now. What? 
All right, I'm back. Oh, just wanted to show you all that. All that noise. One more thing I want to bring up um, while we're here. You notice these two drink holders. I've seen a lot of people complaining about the drink holders not holding cups. Well, yeah, it don't hold a Yeti cup. But if you have a hip huggy and you put a can, 12-ounce can or a 12-ounce water or a 12-ounce bottle in a hip huggy and put it in here, it'll ride. It ain't bouncing out. It ain't falling off. I will tell you, I put a tumbler, tried to put a tumbler in there and the tumbler fell out, but water, you know beer, fits fine. I was thinking I was going to have to drill them out and make all kind of uh, modifications and no modifications needed. They work fine. All right, y'all. I'm going to put the tires on this thing. Next time y'all see it, it's going to be jacked up. calling a penalty delay a game on Honda Brookhaven I can't put them on today so next time y'all come back I'll be back at the house and punch a tool with the tires on I stopped there this week to pick up the lug nuts told him my model number told him my rims he gave me the wrong lug nuts so here's my tires so there's the tires and there's the wrong lug nuts thank you Honda Brookhaven I'll see you tomorrow and uh, I'd like to head these tires on. I got my bike all jacked up, ready to go. Now I got to put all the old tires back on. Just I'm really about to have it. Fired from my job, I'm always late. I don't care, I still got some tackles, got some.